Hello and good evening. Welcome. It's Friday again. And another excursion into our series, Praying the Names of God. I'd like for you to do what I always ask for. Please, do your loved ones a favor. And the favor is very simple. Everybody can do it. Share the link to that platform that you are listening to us on or that you are watching us on. There are people on Facebook that are there already. I see Adaraji there. I see my own daughter for me there. God bless you, girl. I just like people who are always on time. Not that I hate people who come late. But we thank God for bringing us together, whether on time or a little bit late. As long as you are here, we just want you to come and we want you to be blessed by God. I would like to say a big thank you to our engineer. I didn't hear any music tonight. I'm sure there must be a reason. God bless you for all that you do. And for the big, 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 big brother that does the editing for us, we thank you also for your labor of love. Staying up late at night to do some editing for our outreach on Caribbean Island Television. We thank you because you will do us that favor by sharing the link. And I pray that God will bless your loved ones as they tune us in today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us together this Friday. Last Friday was like yesterday. You kept us all week long, and here we are again. We thank you for the names that you have and that you have given us. And now we are using them to pray. We pray, Lord God, this thing will not turn into a tradition for us, but it will be something that we do do with great anticipation, expecting God to reveal and to manifest who he is by his name. Papa, give me the anointing to lead the prayers tonight and give your people the grace to pray the prayers also. We'll be careful to give you the praise at the end. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. All God's people said amen. Last night... We addressed God as Jehovah Shama. The Lord who is there is always there for his own. And I thank God for the feedbacks that I've got so far from those prayers. Tonight, we're going to be looking at another name of God. El Simchath Gilai. Yes. God, my exceeding joy, El Simchath Gilai, God, my exceeding joy. Get ready to pray tonight. This is going to pull you out from whatever the enemy has thrown you in as far as sadness or sorrow or depression. You know, I was thinking about it today that If you look at your life, maybe since the beginning of this week, maybe since the beginning of this month, maybe since the beginning of this year, some things might have happened to you to just make you go down emotionally. That's just the way life is. But I thank God because many may be the afflictions, but Jesus Christ said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And that's what the prayer of tonight is all about, to bring cheerfulness into your life. I want to encourage you, my brother. I want to encourage you, my sister. Be of good cheer. Everything is going to be all right. Yes, it will. The scripture where we find this is a very short psalm. Psalm of David, by the way. I will read the whole psalm later, but for now, let me just read the verse where the name comes up. Psalm 43, verse number 4. Then will I go unto the altar of God. See, that's that's where to go, folks. <laughs> no matter what happens to you, this is where to end up, okay? 
This is the place to end up. And you will find it in the writings of David over and over again. He said, I will go to the altar. I will go to the altar. Then will I go to the altar of God. Look at what he said next. Unto God my exceeding joy. Now you can just see that the reason he said he will go to the altar of God is because something has tampered with his joy. And that's why I say, you know what? I'm not going to him as Jehovah Shammah. I'm not going to him as Jehovah Rohi. I'm not going to him as El Shaddai. I'm going to him as El Sin Chad Gilai. God, my exceeding joy. You need some joy in your life tonight? You are in the right place. The Lord is going to give you abundant joy before this is over. So it said, then will I go to the altar of God unto my exceeding joy? Yes. Upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. El Sin Chath Gilai, God, my exceeding joy. Have you ever been down? Have you ever been depressed? Have you ever been brought very low into sorrow about something or about somebody? You know what I read somewhere, and I think this is very interesting. Scientists in Belgium did a study that actually have proved to work. Yeah, it works. You know what the study was all about? And I think this is very cute for those of you who have sweet teeth. They found out that ice cream, ice cream, really works. This is how they found out. They studied the image of the brain and the activity of the brain during times of sadness and sorrow. And then they put a fat solution inside the stomach, like that which you find in ice cream. They introduced it into the stomach of people that were truly sorrowful and truly sad and truly down. Well, guess what? The images revealed that the fatty liquid reduced the intensity of sad emotions by almost half. Yeah. The recommendation is then very simple. <laughs> when you feel low, when you feel sad, when you feel depressed, go into your freezer and take some ice cream to give you a lift. Maybe that's what happens to our grandchildren. Have you noticed that when you give your children and your grandchildren ice cream, they turn the whole house upside down. They are so happy, they are on a sugar high. Unfortunately, though, the downside of that study is this. The effect is always short-lived. Your sorrow will come back. Your sadness will come back. Your depression will come back. So the only way to keep the depression and sadness and sorrow away is to keep on eating ice cream and keep on eating ice cream. And that's not going to do you any good because that creamy comfort can lead to new problems. New problems like weight gain, like diabetes, like heart disease. But I thank God tonight, I really do, that there is a less risky, more lasting, and infinitely more gratifying way to find emotional relief in time of sadness, in time of sorrow, in time of depression. David, he had his own share of sadness. He had his own share of sorrow. He had his own share of depression. He had his own share of difficulties. Sometimes self-inflicted. Sometimes persecution inflicted. But he discovered a remedy to deal with his emotional distress and his spiritual depression. And it's not ice cream. Psalm 43 gives us a look into the activity of his brain. Yes. 
and, and we read there what was happening not only in his brain but in his heart and how he got his relief. Look with me from verse 1, this very short psalm of Psalm 43. He begins by saying, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. You see that? When you have a deceitful man around you, when you have an unjust woman around you, they are likely to send you into depression, sadness, or sorrow. Yes, they will. So he said, God, help me judge this case and plead my cause against these people that just send me into depression. Especially if the person is your husband, you live with him every day. If the person is your wife, you live with her every day. So every day they keep doing things to you. In, 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 a, in a span of 30 days, 28 days are probably bad days for you living with this individual. Will you continue to be sorrowful every day? I'm going to show you the ice cream to take tonight. Now in verse 2 it says, For thou art the God of my strength. Yes, he is. Why dost thou cast me off? You know, sometimes you feel as if God is too far away especially when all these bad people, unjust and deceitful people bombard you. And you say, God, why did you let them have access to me? It says, God, my strength, why did you cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? We're going to pray against that. Because if God doesn't help you, the oppression of the enemy will send you into depression on a daily basis. And you'll be mourning and mourning and sad and sad. Well, look at the next statement. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and unto thy tabernacles. Look at verse 4. Then will I go unto the altar. My friend, that's where we are going. Oh. <laughs> when you are down, when you are low, when you are depressed, that's where you go, to the altar of God. I don't even remember who I was talking with this week. And the individual told me that whenever he is down, all he needs to do is pray. And whatever is down in him will be lifted up. If you know how to pray, ah, joy unspeakable will be your portion. You'll be able to sing when others are crying. You'll be able to dance when others have stopped dancing. He said, then, because of all of these things that I see around me, bad people around, unjust people around, wicked people around, and even it looks as if God is not around. He said, then I will go to the altar of God. I won't run away from God. I will run to God. You know, it's very easy during time of depression, during time of sadness and sorrow, that you will abandon prayer and say, I'm not going to pray again. I'm not going to go to church again. I'm not going to... Do- has, has, there, has there ever been Sundays? Have there ever been Sundays when you didn't feel like coming to church? That's what happens when you are down, when you are sorrowful. You just, what am I going to do in the house of God? And many times it will take the grace of God to push you out of the house. Or maybe the responsibilities that you have to carry out in the church to push you out of the house to go to the house of God. That's the place to go when you are down. That's the place to go when you are sorrowful. He said, then, then, when all these things happen, then will I go to the altar of God unto God my exceeding joy. Don't forget, when you are praying to God, you are praying to God your exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast? Then after the prayer, look at what it says in verse 5. It said, now I've prayed. Now I've brought my sadness to God. Now I've brought my sorrows to God. Then he looks at himself and says, come on, David. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why are you depressed? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in thy God. Look at this man preaching to himself after he had shown signs of depression. I says, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. You know, you can get to the place where your countenance is always bright. And I'm not talking about makeup, making it bright. I'm talking about the joy of the Lord on the inside, bubbling on the outside. David's grief over the injustices of his enemies is only compounded by his impression that God is too distant and feeling rejected by God. Though he doesn't run away from God, he runs to God 
seeking his light, seeking his truth. Uh, he goes looking for where God can be found. And you know where God can be found? At the altar, at the altar, at the altar. Not at the palm reader, uh -uh 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 -uh. at the altar of God. There you will find El Sim Chath Gilai, God, my exceeding joy. David isn't just hoping for a relief from the pain. No, he is seeking true joy in the midst of his pain. My friend, you can have true joy in the midst of your pain. There is only one source of joy that can illuminate the mind and the heart, even while trouble is pressing on all sides. My friends, when your soul is down, when the wind and mind is disturbed, you can only find relief when you go to the one that can help you and lift you up. Can I say something? Take a lot of ice cream. Not that type of ice cream in your freezer. It's the one that you stand before the Lord who can do better than ice cream can do for you. You can never overindulge in El Sinchath Gilai. For the other one, you can overindulge in it. One young lady <laughs> told me that when she was in college, that she and her roommate, every Friday, they will buy a big bowl of ice cream and they will finish that bowl before 3 a.m. in the morning. I think they got a little fat from doing that. Well, why don't you spend a whole Friday till 3 a.m. in the morning in the presence of El Sinchath Gilai and say, saturate me with joy that is exceeding what I have, and you'll be surprised what will happen to you. By the way, the advantages of being joyful are more than can be numbered, and I know you know that already. Joy is a great predictor of good health. Yes, studies have shown that joyful people have less chance of having a heart attack. They maintain a healthier blood pressure and tend to have lower cholesterol levels. Studies have shown that. Nehemiah tells us the joy of the Lord is your strength. All right? If you are not joyful, you have no strength. All right? Because a merry heart doeth good, even better than medicine. Another advantage of joy is joyful people are kind people. And you can add to the fact that joyful people tend to be more patient. They tend to be more kind. They tend to be more creative than their peers. It is also true that joyful people are more successful in life. Also, if bouncing back from problems of life is what you need, joy makes you resilient. You are able to easily bounce back from situations that keep other people down. The source of your joy is very real. And you know where it comes from? Having a relationship with Jesus Christ. My question to you tonight is this. Do you have that relationship with Christ? Because one of the things you first have when you give your life to Jesus is joy. I got joy like a river. You remember that song? Joy like a river. When you get saved, your finances have not changed. Your marital status have not changed. But there's a joy in your heart, deep down in your soul. Only those that are born again really experience the joy that ice cream cannot give. The joy that alcohol cannot give. The joy that drugs cannot give. Today we are going to call on Eli Sinshath Gilai to flood our hearts and our lives with the joy that he alone can give us. Don't you just love that worship song that has become very popular in the church? You remember that song? I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. What a beautiful exchange. That's what I've called you to come and do here tonight. 
to bring your sorrows, to bring your shame, to bring your sadness, to bring your sickness, and to bring your pain. And let's do some exchanging. Give them to him. Pick up the joy of the Lord tonight. And that song says, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. And then it says, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. You know that song? And I like another line in the worship song. It says, I am pressed, but I'm not crushed. Hallelujah. I'm persecuted, but I'm not abandoned. I'm struck down, but I'm not destroyed. I am blessed beyond the curse, for his promise will endure. His joy is going will be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, his joy, the song says, comes in the morning. And then he goes on and says, I'm trading, trading, trading. I need some traders on this prayer line tonight that will trade your sorrows, that will trade your shame, and you will lay them down for the joy of the Lord, that will trade your sickness, that will trade your pain, and laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I want us to go and do some laying them down tonight. I'm picking up some joy tonight in a worthy spiritual exchange exercise. I hope you are ready. God is, if you are. Let's go before him with thanksgiving tonight and thank God for allowing us to see another Friday to pray. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for allowing us to see another Friday tonight, oh God. Come on, bless his name. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Bless him. Bless him. Thank him. Thank him for bringing us together. Thank him. I told you the other time that last Friday looked like yesterday. I want us to thank him for his provision. I want us to thank him for his protection all week long, all work week long. Thank God he kept you. He protected you from all accidents. Some people got up and went to work and they never came back. But you went in, you went out and you came in safely. We give God the praise for that. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Thank him for the prayers of last night. Oh, and the fact that God is always there. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you because you are always there for us. We thank you because you will always live, that we will always live in the consciousness of the fact that God is always there. Come on, thank him. Bless him. Thank him again. Because he has always been there for you. Through thick and thin, God has always been there. Through high and through low, God has always been there. Father, we bless you for always being there for us. Hallelujah. I want you to thank you because even when men refuse to be there for you, God has always been there. Thank God for the name of God that we are praying about tonight. My exceeding joy. Oh Lord, we thank you. We confess it tonight. You are our exceeding joy. Nothing can exceed the joy that we have in you. Nothing can exceed the joy that you've given us. I want you to thank him for that wonderful name, powerful name, glorious name. I want you to thank him because uh, (laughs) of what he has been in your life, giving you joy that exceeds all joys. Joy that exceeds all joy gifts. Say, Lord, I bless you. Say, Lord, I worship you for giving me joy that exceeds all joys and all joy givers. I want you to pray that you will graciously give us the prayer points that we will need to pray on tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray that God will be graciously present with us to lead us and to guide us tonight. Pray for me that God will give me the strength to lead this prayer and God will give you the strength to pray these prayers. I want you to pray that the Lord will wash us with cleanse us of every sin, of every unbelief that might hinder our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever you see in us, whatever you behold in us that will hinder our prayers tonight, let the blood of Jesus wash us. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us tonight. Father, purify our hearts even as we come before you to pray. We realize that if we regard iniquity in our hearts, the Lord will not hear us, not to even talk about the Lord answering us. So, Father, we come worthy by the blood tonight. We pray that you will wash us and cleanse us and purge us and purify us. I want you to pray that God will give you the grace and God will give me the grace to be able to focus 
Yes, Lord, give us the grace to have no distraction whatsoever, that our children will not distract us, the internet problem will not distract us, connection problem will not distract us tonight. We'll be able to pray with focus. We'll be able to pray and just get more joy from the Lord tonight. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray for grace, 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 grace. we got about 34 minutes to pray tonight. I want you to pray that the next 34 minutes will look like three seconds for you. I want you to pray that the Lord will just strengthen you to be able to pray through these minutes and to be able to reach the heart of God. And that joy overflow joy of God, we overflow your heart, we overflow your soul, and we swallow up whatever it is that is troubling you in your mind in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to praise God and to bless the name of the Lord for his joy that is overflowing right now. Father, we thank you for your joy that is overflowing into us right now. We thank you for your joy that is swallowing up all the issues we have faced today. I want you to say, Lord, I pray that your joy will swallow up all the issues. I have prayed, faced today. Uh, many of you have faced some issues today concerning yourself, concerning your children, concerning your job, concerning your marriage. And it has really, 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 really affected your joy and your, and your level of happiness. Uh, maybe you had somebody died or you had somebody is sick or you had somebody uh, uh, got robbed or something happened. It just, it just, you just nose dived. I want you to pray that the Lord, the joy of the Lord will lift you up tonight. Say, Lord, flip, flood my heart with your joy tonight. Uh, maybe you remembered an incident sometime today, maybe at two o'clock. Uh, maybe you remembered a face. You saw a face that looked like a face uh, that did you wrong and you just went down just like that into depression. I want you to pray, oh Lord, whatever has befallen me all day to make me low. Maybe you got a bill in the mail and you don't have the money to pay it and your joy got swallowed up. Uh, I want you to say joy, let your joy over flow into my heart. Let your joy overflow into my spirit. Uh, oh Lord God, my exceeding great joy. Let your joy overflow into my heart tonight. Uh, let your joy overflow into my soul tonight. Let your joy overflow into my spirit tonight. Uh, whatever it is in my mind right now, maybe you expect to have got married by now you are not married. Uh, maybe you expect to have had children by now you don't have children. Uh, maybe you expect to have got a better job right now you don't have a better job. Uh, and these things come like waves, waves of depression, waves of sadness, waves of sorrow. I want you to pray, Lord, lift me, lift me, lift me, lift me, lift me up. Flood my soul with your joy, your exceeding joy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Maybe there's a sickness that comes upon you every month of March and it has come again this March and you are down. Say, ah, when will I be free from this? And you are low in your spirit right now. Whoever is low in their spirit right now, say, Oh Lord, flood my soul with your joy right now in the name of Jesus. Father, flood my soul with your joy right now. I want you to pray. Say, Oh Lord, whatever weighs heavily on my heart right now, whatever weighs heavily on my heart tonight, release me into the land of joy in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, whatever weighs heavily on my heart, and you know what it is that weighs heavily on your heart. I want you to pray that the Lord will release you uh, into the land of great joy, into the land of great uh, happiness, uh, into the land of exceeding joy. Father, whatever it is that weighs me down, that I thought of and it crossed my mind, I got a phone call, whatever it is right now, I went to the hospital and they did a, a, a test and they, they, they found this and they found that and it's weighing your heart down. I want you to pray the Lord will release you into the land of joy tonight take you from the land of sadness take you from the land of sorrow take you from the land that this issue have plunged you into and bring you into the land of joy tonight into the land of happiness tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray tonight that oh Lord from tonight come on open your mouth and let us pray let things that will bring great joy begin to manifest in my life in the name of Jesus say oh Lord from tonight from tonight from tonight uh, 
Let things that bring great joy begin to manifest in my life, oh God. Come on, open your mouth and let us pray together. Let us call on him together. That things that bring joy, things that bring gladness uh, will be things that will begin to manifest in your life from tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, Oh Lord God, tonight, from tonight, from this very hour, oh Lord, from this very minute, we pray in the name of Jesus. uh, Things that will bring me great joy, things that will bring me great happiness. uh, Let them begin to manifest themselves in my life. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. uh, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. uh, Things that will bring me great joy, things that will bring me great happiness. uh, Let them begin to manifest in my life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. uh, Things that will bring me sadness, things that will bring me sorrow. Father, let your wind blow them out of my life in the name of Jesus. Uh, Where is the east wind of God? Uh, Let it blow upon me right now, blow upon my sadness, blow upon my sorrow, and let it make me, O Lord, to be free from every depression. Uh, From tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, things that will bring me great joy, uh, in the name of Jesus, let them begin to manifest in my life. Uh, Come on, open your mouth and pray. Whatever you ask God is what God will give you tonight. Uh, Whatever will bring me joy in my marriage, uh, let it begin to happen, oh God. Uh, Whatever will bring joy in my ministry, whatever will bring joy in my body, whatever you bring joy in my health, uh, whatever will bring joy in my my descendants, uh, let them begin to manifest, 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 manifest. uh, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. uh, I want you to pray tonight. Say like David, uh, lift me up, oh Lord. Uh, Say like David, uh, lift me up, oh Lord. Uh, Every downcast spirit, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, remove it from me where I'm downcast. uh, In the name of Jesus, where I'm downcast. uh, Father, remove that spirit from me in the name of Jesus. uh, Where my spirit is downcast. uh, In the name of Jesus, Father, remove it from me, oh God. Uh, I want you to pray tonight that whatever deceitful and unjust men have done to you. Hey, this world is bad, oh, deceitful men. They say they want to marry you. It's a lie. They get your money, they get your this, they get your that, and they get your that, and at last, what do they do? They walk away from you. I want you to pray, Lord, whatever men have done to me, unjust men, whatever deceitful men have done to me that have made my spirit to be downcast, oh, Lord, lift me up like you lifted David up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever they have stolen from me, oh God, and has made my spirit to be low. All men that have done me wrong, I pray that you will lift me from the power of their wickedness tonight and flood my soul with joy unspeakable, full of glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, can we ask God for replacement tonight? Say, my Lord and my God, replace the pain, replace the sorrow that men have caused me, O oh God, and give me exceeding joy in their place. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Papa, take away the pain in my heart. Papa, take away the sorrow in my heart. Papa, take away the regret in my heart. There's somebody on this prayer line, you made a decision, and the decision, you are full of regret right now. And anytime you remember that decision, it sends you into depression. My brother, my sister, you need to pray oh, that the Lord will help lift you above what is past. That one is gone, it's in the past. For this one thing I do, Paul the Apostle said, I don't look behind, I look ahead. I want you to pray that all the pain and all the sorrow that are in your heart, the Lord will replace them. The Lord will replace them and replace them with great joy. The Lord will replace them with great exceeding joy. Whatever you have done, whatever you have put your hand to, whatever decision you have gone into with any man and any woman that is bringing you regret and pain and sorrow, say, O Lord, reverse it for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Can we ask God to help us tonight? Say, O Lord, from tonight, yes. Say, O Lord, from tonight, yes. Let the enemy never be able to determine the level of my joy. Let the enemy never be able to determine the depth of my joy. I want us to pray about the level of your joy, the depth of your joy that no one, no one will have that power to determine when you are happy and when you are sad. Say, oh Lord, I pray that you will take me to that place where man will not determine when I'm happy or when I'm sad. In the name of Jesus, in the 
name of Jesus. There are people that are joy killers. I don't know if you heard what I said. There are people that are joy killers. They may be parents. They may be children. They may be bosses. They may be co-workers. Their own ministry is to kill joy. I want you to pray tonight. All these joy killers around my life, oh God. All these joy killers that I live with, I sleep in the same bed with them. And all they do is kill my joy. I wake up in the morning and my joy is destroyed. Say, oh Lord, let them not be able to determine the level of my joy from tonight. Let them not be able to determine the level of my joy, the depth of my joy tonight. Say, oh Lord, no circumstances of life shall be able to determine the level of my joy from this evening. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, my Lord and my God, give no enemy the power to so oppress me that my joy in the Lord is taken away. I want you to pray that nothing, nothing will be able to take away your joy, regardless of what you see around you, that that you will be happy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The almond tree may not bear any fruit. The orange tree may not bear any fruit. But you will still rejoice in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Things might have gone south. Things might have gone bad. But it will not take dance from your feet. It will not take song from your mouth. Say, oh Lord, whatever what I've been through, what my wife has been through, what my husband has been through, what my loved one has been through, what my son, my daughter has been through, and it has turned me into a joyless woman. It has turned me into a joyless man. Say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, don't let the enemy, don't let any problem, don't let any circumstance have so much power in the name of Jesus to oppress me so much that my joy is destroyed. In the name of Jesus, my joy come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Back. Come on, call your joy back. Say, joy of the Lord. Joy of the Lord. Contact me. Connect with me tonight. Joy of the Lord. Connect with me tonight. Joy of the Lord. Return into my heart. Return into my soul. You are the source of my strength. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. So I want you to pray tonight where my strength has been depleted because there is no more joy that I used to have. I want you to tell the Lord I want to be able to sing when I wake up. I want to be able to go to church and raise my hand and give testimony and bless the name of the Lord. I want you to pray that whatever adversities touch your life, say whatever adversities touch my husband's life, whatever adversities touch my wife's life, whatever adversities touch my business life, let them never be able to tamper with your joy in me, O oh God. Whatever problems, whatever pains, whatever sorrows are thrown my way, they can touch anything, oh, but they will never be able to touch my joy. Papa, take me to that place. Papa, build me up like that, that no adversities, no sorrows, no sadness will be able to tamper with the joy of the Lord, which is my strength. Let us pray the prayer that David prays. Say, oh Lord, let your light, let your truth, let your light, let your truth, let it drive away the evil cloud of sadness, the evil cloud of sorrow from my life. In the name of Jesus, at all times, the wind of God, the light of God, the truth of God. Oh Lord, let them drive away every evil cloud of sadness and sorrow in my life. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. Ah, in the name of Jesus, I hope you are calling on God. In the name of Jesus, say, my Lord and my God, I want you not to allow them. Oh, Lord, let your light not allow them. Oh, Lord, let your power not allow them. Oh, Lord, let your spirit not allow them. In the name of Jesus. Let your light and your truth disperse them, O Lord. Every evil cloud of sadness, every evil cloud of sorrow that are gathering. Many of us have been living under that cloud. It's a dark cloud that is over you. You are just down. You are just down. Have you ever had somebody say, I'm just eating. It's not that I have an appetite. I'm just eating for the sake of staying alive. I don't have an appetite. I'm just eating. 
speaking. Ah, oh, what is sorrow in your heart. I pray that the Lord will flush it out of you tonight and be merciful to you tonight. That you'll be able to sleep. You'll be able to eat. You'll be able to smile again. Say, oh Lord, don't let the enemy take my smile away from me. Don't let the enemy take my joy away from me. For many of us, we got married and our joy disappeared. For many of us, we started a business and our joy disappeared. Oh Lord, our joy that has disappeared. Come back, come back, come back to us tonight. Father, give us back the joy that we used to have. Give us back the excitement that we used to have. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, don't only bless me with joy. Bless me with exceeding joy. That's who his name is. Say, oh Lord, my exceeding joy. That's who David called him. Don't only bless me with joy. Bless me with exceeding joy. Bless me with exceeding joy. Bless me with exceeding joy. Papa, bless me with exceeding joy. Not just with joy, but joy that is exceeding. In the name of Jesus, bless me with it. Don't only bless me with joy, oh God. Bless me, oh Lord, with exceeding joy. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. That the Lord will look upon you where you are. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And bless you with joy that exceeds joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Joy that people will look at you and say, Why are you still able to be happy? Why are you still able to smile? And you will say, No, it's not me. It's the Lord that gives me joy. I want you to pray that Lord make joy to be like a river. You remember that? song we used to sing when we first got saved. Joy like a river in my soul. Papa turned joy into a river, a flowing river in my soul, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will teach you to use the power of prayer to renew your joy every day. If you don't pray every day, you will not have joy every day. Oh, I want you to pray tonight. Teach me to use the power of prayer. Teach me to use the power of praise. Teach me to use the power of adoration. To renew my joy in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, help me, help me, help me, help me to always use the power of prayer, the power of praise, the power of adoration, the power of worship uh, to always renew my joy every day in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, from now on, uh, from tonight, uh, let nothing be given the power to cast my soul down into sadness and sorrow in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, my Father, Father, my Father, let nothing be given the power, O oh Lord, to cast down my soul, to cast down my spirit in sadness and in sorrow. O oh Lord, excitement shall always be my portion. Joy shall always be my portion. I want us to pray a prayer. Say, O oh Lord, give me the wisdom to push out once they want to come. O oh Lord, when the wind of sadness and sorrow and depression, when they want to come, Papa, give me the grace to be able to say no. I don't want you. I reject you. Say power to resist. Say power to resist. Come on, open your mouth and pray this prayer. Say power to resist sadness. Power to resist sorrow. Oh Lord, give it to me, oh God, that they will not be able to settle in my heart. They will not be able to settle in my spirit. From now on, give nothing power. From now on, give nothing strength to cast my soul down into sadness and sorrow. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that sorrow will never take hold of you to disquiet your soul. Did you hear what I said? Say, my father, say, my God, let sorrow never hold of, get hold of me to disquiet my soul. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, call him by his name. Say, oh God, my exceeding joy. Let my hope in you. Oh God, my exceeding joy. Let my hold in you, my, my, my hope in you be so strong that my level of joy will always be high. You know when they say they are high? Say, oh Lord, I want to be always high in joy. I want to be high with joy. Not with drugs, not with alcohol, but with the joy of the Lord. Father, let me maintain a high level of joy. Oh Lord, anoint me with a high level of joy from this time on bubbling with joy all the time Papa let that be my name let that be my life let that be my modus operandi in the name of Jesus 
Say I decree tonight, come on, pray it. Say I decree tonight, come on, pray it. Say I decree that I shall never be silenced. Oh yes, I shall never be silenced. Say I decree that I shall never be silenced from speaking words of praise. Say by the grace of God, I decree it tonight, I shall never be silenced from speaking words of grace, from singing songs of praise, and from dancing dances of praise. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say I decree it and I declare it, I shall never be silenced, I will never be silenced, I must never be silenced from speaking words of praise, from singing songs of praise, from dancing dances of praise. Oh Lord, let me not be arrested, let me not be banished. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I shall never, never, never be silenced from speaking words of praise and singing songs of praise and dancing songs of dances of praise in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, no matter what happens in and around me, come on, pray, 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 pray. Say, oh Lord, no matter what happens in and around me, in the name of Jesus, let my countenance always radiate the joy of God. In the name of Jesus, let me my countenance, let it be a radiation of the joy of God. In the name of Jesus, no matter what happens in me, no matter what happens around me, oh Lord, let me not wear it on my face. In the name of Jesus, radiation of joy. Everywhere I go, I will bubble with joy and people can see it in my countenance. Oh Lord God, take over my countenance in times of joy. Take over my countenance in times of sorrow. Take over my countenance when things are good. Take over my countenance when things are not so good. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let me give you two prayer points back to back. Say, let the sorrows of yesterday turn into the joy of today for me. Come on, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say the sorrows of yesterday, O Lord. Let them turn into the joys of today for me, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Say, O Lord, the sorrows of yesterday. Ah, sorrows. Hey, hey. You want me to tell you my own sorrows of the of yesteryears? I want you to pray tonight. Our sorrows of yesterday. Our sorrows of last year. Our sorrows of years gone by, Papa, turn them into joys of today, of this month, of this year. In the name of Jesus, all the sorrows we have had to endure from the hands of man, from our own mistakes, I pray that you will turn them into joys because you are our God who gives us joy. In the name of Jesus, all our sorrows of yesterday, oh Lord, turn them into the joys of today. But let's pray that prayer in another way. Say the sorrow of today, I command you to turn into the joys of tomorrow for me in the name of Jesus. The sorrows of today, oh Lord, turn them into the joys of tomorrow for us in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. What you see as sorrows of today, you never know what can happen tomorrow. God can turn them into the joys of tomorrow in the name of Jesus. The sorrows of today, this ongoing sorrow, this ongoing sadness, this ongoing depression about what I'm going through. Papa, turn them into joy. Turn them into testimony. <laughs> there are people on this prayer line that I personally know. There are things that they are going through that nobody knows. I pray that what you are going through will be turned into a testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which you are going through right now, may God turn them into testimony for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we turn that song into prayer? Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, say my exceeding joy. I trade all my pains. I trade all my sorrows. I trade all my sickness tonight for the joy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Papa, take my pains. Come on, say it. Say, Papa, take my sorrows. Papa, take my sickness. Papa, take my troubles and give me the joy of the Lord in exchange. In the name of Jesus, Say, oh Lord, 
Say, oh Lord, my joy, I lay them down at the foot of the cross. I lay them down for the joy of the Lord. All the pains in my life, all the sorrows in my life, all the sicknesses in my life, all the persecutions in my life, all the troubles and regrets in my life. Tonight, oh Lord, I come trading. Papa, I'm a trader tonight. I want to trade them in for the joy of the Lord. Papa, give me joy in place of my pains. Papa, give me joy in place of my sorrows. Papa, give me joy in place of my regrets. I lay them down for the joy of the Lord. Papa, I lay them down for the joy of the Lord. Some of them we don't want to lay down. We just want to hold them hold them, and pity ourselves. Look at my sadness. Hey, look at my sorrow. Ah, look at my sickness. Ah, but Lord, we release them to you tonight. We lay them down for the joy of the Lord tonight. We lay them at the fruit of the cross in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, your exceeding joy. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Let him mingle. Let him mingle with any sorrow in my life and turn it into great joy. Oh Lord, your exceeding joy. Mingle them with the sorrow in my life. Mingle them with the pain in my life. Mingle them with the sadness in my life. Turn it into great joy. Turn it into great joy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and say, My pains, my sorrows, my concerns, my anxieties about my children. I want us to pray for our children. Two prayer points, maybe three. Say, Oh Lord, all the pains, all the sorrows, all the concerns, all the anxieties about my children. Papa, turn, turn them into great joy for me. Turn them into great joy for them. Turn them into great joy for me. Turn them into great joy for them. We will be bad, wicked parents if we don't have pains and sorrows and concerns and even anxieties concerning our children. Papa, turn them into great joy. Turn them into great joy for them. Turn them into great joy for me. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, whatever I see oh, about my children that make me joyful tonight, let it not turn into sadness. Oh, Jesus, whatever I see about my children, Children, whatever I see in my children that make me happy, that make me joyful, Papa, don't turn it into sorrow. Papa, don't let it turn into sadness. Whatever I see that make me joyful, let it continue to be an exceeding joy concerning my children, concerning my children's children. But let's pray the other side of that prayer. Say, Oh Lord, whatever I see in my children that make me sad, Papa, turn it into joy. Papa, turn it into joy. Papa, turn it into joy. You see those two prayers? Whatever we see in our children that make us joyful, let them not turn into sadness. But whatever we see in our children that make us sad, oh Lord, turn them into joy tonight in the name of Jesus. Our exceeding joy, that's your name. Oh Lord, let my children not be exposed to the sorrows, oh, to the pains, oh, that I've ex been exposed to in life. In the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray the pain? you have had to endure, the sorrows you have had to endure, that your children will not ex be exposed to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can we pray tonight? All the things that you've been through, you women, your girls will not be through them. All the things that you've been through, you men, your boys will not be through them. In the name of Jesus, Papa, spare them my sadness, spare them my sorrow, spare them my depression. Let them not have have to go through what I've been through. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Let's leave the children alone. Now God has answered us. Say, where I am pressed, let me not be crushed. Where I am persecuted, let me not be abandoned. Where I am struck down, let me not be destroyed. Open your mouth and pray. Where I am pressed, let me not be crushed. Where I am persecuted, let me not be abandoned. Where I am struck down, let me not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray to Lord where I am pressed, let me not be crushed, where I am persecuted let me not be abandoned, where I am struck down, let me not be destroyed, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray that those who are determined, those who are determined, those who are determined, that you will not know joy in, their, in your life say those who are determined, that they will make me miserable, 
I want you to pray tonight. Uh, disappoint them, oh Lord. Uh, disappoint them, oh Lord, my exceeding joy. Uh, the more they don't want me happy, uh, the more exceeding joy you should give me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray that whatever is planted in your life uh, to ensure that you don't know joy, uh, God will uproot them tonight. Uh, whatever is planted in your life and in my life, uh, to ensure that we don't know any joy, uh, that the Lord will uproot it from our lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the Lord will bless them with disappointment uh, that are determined that we will not know joy in our lives. Uh, say fullness of joy, uh, not partial joy. Uh, let it be our portion tonight. Fullness of joy, let it be our portion. 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 In the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let me be singing my song. Let me be dancing my song. Let me be dancing my dance. Let me be singing my song. Let me be raising my hand in worship. Let it not stop. Let it continue. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you have your seven prayer request. Here are my own. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I want us to go to those and say, God, we have come with this prayer request. Oh, it's only one thing we want to pray. It's joy. I want you to pray. In the name of Jesus, answers, answers, answers that trigger exceeding joy, answers that trigger exceeding joy, come out of this request, 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 answers that trigger exceeding joy, come on open your mouth and pray, come on open your mouth and pray, I know some of you, you have already got answers, bless the name of the Lord for the answers you have got, but I, I still have some here that are not answered yet. And I want you to thank God. Father, I thank God for the answers that I already have, but I pray, O oh Lord, the ones that I don't have answers to, O oh Lord God, answers that trigger exceeding joy. Let them come out of this prayer request. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. Say, O oh Lord, turn my mourning into dancing. Turn my sorrow into joy concerning these seven requests. In the name of Jesus, turn my mourning into dancing. Turn my sorrow into joy concerning these seven requests, O oh God. Ah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let my time of, time of joy, let my time of joy concerning this request not be delayed any longer. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Say my time of joy concerning this request. Let them not be delayed any longer. Let them not be delayed much longer. In the name of Jesus, my time of joy must come between now and July concerning this prayer request. Papa, I Answer me, please. Papa, answer me, please. Papa, answer me, please. My time of joy, exceeding joy, concerning this request. Let them not be delayed. Let them not be delayed. Any longer, let them not be delayed. In the name of Jesus. Those who have said, I will never rejoice, concerning this request. Oh Lord, disappoint them. Disappoint their devices. Disappoint them. Disappoint their devices. Those who have said, I will never rejoice, concerning this request. Oh Lord, disappoint them right now. Oh Lord, disappoint them right now. In the name of Jesus. All my mourning, all my sadness, all my sorrow concerning this request. Papa, turn them into joy right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to thank God for answered prayers tonight. Say, Lord, I thank you for answering my prayers. I thank you for giving me joy. I thank you for giving me exceeding joy tonight. He is a God who gives us joy. And we thank him for giving us joy concerning this request. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we worship you, O Lord. El Simchath, Gilai, we glorify you. God, our exceeding joy. El Simchath, Gilai, we say thank you, we bless you. El Simchath, Gilai, our exceeding joy. Thank you for the joy exceeding that we have. We will be untouchable. We will live inside the bubble of God's joy. We will be bubbling day and night with joy from tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. That which has made us sad and sorrowful up until now is turned into joy unspeakable.
unshakable, full of glory. We thank you. We bless you for joy. I'm happy tonight. I hope you are tonight. I feel relieved tonight. I feel lifted tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Bless his name tonight. I told him we will give him praise. Lord, we are giving you praise for what you have done. Thank you, Lord, because where we are pressed, you, we are, you have not allowed us to be crushed. Where we are persecuted, you have not abandoned us. Where we are struck down, we have not been destroyed. Papa, we thank you because our joy is kept in the name of Jesus and it keeps keeping us. Glory be to his name. Honor be to his name. Adoration be to his name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All God's people everywhere said amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. What a beautiful prayer time we've had. A couple of announcements. Well, I'm not even going to give you too many. Please remember tomorrow night, oh please, tomorrow night, Saturday, when you are going to bed, turn your clocks one hour forward when going to sleep on Saturday night so that you will not get to church and church will have finished. And that's good news for next week. The podcast, for those of you in different time zones, from the United States and Canada, please don't forget that prayers will come one hour early from next week, Thursday. So on Thursday, even Bible study too, one, uh, one hour early. Those of you who join us from outside the United States, even for our 3 p.m. Uh, pr- uh, uh, Sunday school, Please, everything will move one hour early. So next week, those of you who used to join us at 1 a.m., it will be 12 midnight. Those of you who used to join us at 11, uh, it will be 10. Those of you who used to join us at 12, it will be 11. All other service announcements remain unchanged. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning and also all through the week for our services. Shall we share the grace as we go home and rest for the weekend? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Go home and be happy. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.